150th anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation, I want you to remember that the house they were standing in, the house my family has the privilege of living in, that house was built in part by slaves. You know, I haven't heard references to slavery, slaves, Underground Railroad, in my modern life from a standing politician, except the most extreme. Right now we have Michelle Obama at the Congressional Black Caucus, right out of the novel Animal Farm, right out of the Communist Manifesto, stirring up racial division, stirring up racial distrust, stirring up hatred between blacks and whites, in a way I have never seen. And I have a question for you on the Savage Nation. Do you think it's appropriate for Michelle Obama to refer to slavery, the Underground Railroad, etc., while giving a speech as the First Lady of the United States of America? I don't. But I'm going to go a step further. I have to take my hat off to Michelle Obama. As despicable as her speech was, as despicable, as Obama's actions are, I have to take my hat off to them because they keep going back to their left-wing fanatical base over and over and over again. Obama and Michelle Obama keep going back to the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, the Hispanic Caucus, the left-wing fanatics of all kind, and hammering them with these statements, the red meat statements, while on the other side, Romney keeps ignoring his base. Romney not only does not go back to his base, he doesn't even talk to his base. I have no words for this other than to say I'm shocked that Romney is so blind to what he is not doing. Obama and Michelle go back and keep talking about slavery. Listen, for example, to clip seven this weekend at the Congressional Black Caucus. Now, back when our great grandparents were riding that Underground Railroad, back oh when John God. Lewis was marching across that bridge in oh Selma. Oh, my God. And Jim Clyburn was sitting in an Orangeburg jail. Yeah, you're all the suffering. The injustices we faced were written in big letters. Yeah, your first lady, stop it already. Keep going. Keep the going. I'm just at reacting. The battles we needed to fight were very clear. We knew that to end slavery, we needed a proclamation from our president. Wait, let's stop right here. We knew that to end slavery? You mean she grew up in a time when there was slavery? What does she mean we knew that to end slavery? Why, of course, she means we black people, we black people against those evil white people. It gets even uglier. Listen to what she does next. To end segregation, we needed the Supreme Court to overturn the lie of separate but equal. To reach the ballot box, we needed Congress to pass the Voting Rights Act. OK, now listen to where she goes in clip eight, because this finally, if you're sitting in the middle, you're going to find out how dangerous these communists are in the White House. Listen to clip eight. The path forward for this next generation is far less clear. I mean, what exactly do we do about children who are languishing in crumbling schools? Oh, that's what a about lie. What percent of black children who are overweight or obese? Or the nearly one in two who are on track to develop diabetes in their lifetimes? Uh -huh. What court case do we bring on their behalf? What, what laws can be passed to end those wrongs? Do you hear how psychotic this woman is? What court case do we bring on behalf of children who are fat? What court case do we black people bring on behalf of black children who are going to develop diabetes? What laws do we pass to end those wrongs? This is insanity. I've never heard anything like this. But again, I take my hat off to Michelle Obama. She is at least true to her communist agenda she has never veered from her path forward loaded words she said the path forward right out of the communist manifesto it's always been used by the communist party usa cpusa has always used uh, the phrase forward now they're using it nakedly and on the other side we have a man who won't even talk to his base